determined. He's humble, ambitious, loyal, and a natural born leader. Talk to me, you know, I had co offensive player of the year. Last year, my junior year, I was MVP, offensive player of the year. And now I'm currently ranked the number 13 all purpose back in the nation. Showtime. It's, you know, a reporter gave me that name because he says, he says, every time you touch the ball, it's just like, oh my gosh, you never know what's going to happen. Touchdown! Touchdown! I put him into football, I think he was like seven. And it's been, it's stuck with him kind of ever since. You know, he started out learning the sport and um, playing it. He took to it, like, you know, fish to water. He went. His, when he was younger, his bigger thing was just like, he liked to hit people. You no, know, started when I was seven, I played straight to tackle. You know how some kids go to flag football, you know, I went straight to tackle. And it just built it up from there. A lot of guys, you know, older guys when I was younger, they pushed me, motivated me. He's very ambitious. He's very eager. Like, Frank, from day one, he was running at seven months, tearing up all that stuff. He got to high school and it's kind of like his freshman year, he said, this is my time. King left, I will not, King left, I will not. Ready? All right, Frank, just look right. around, just look around inside. Right. I think he's just one of those players, you know, either you have it or you don't. Everything about him, the way he walks, the way he talks, the way that he's a leader when it comes amongst other kids, you can't help but say he's special. You can be a person this way without that plastic or the equipment on, but when you put it on, you should show your alter ego. And uh, he's a perfect example of that. Uh, when he puts the plastic on, the uniform on, he becomes this guy that's nonstop. You know, it's what you want to see when you find an individual like himself that has a passion for the game. When you get him out on the field, if it's in front of him, he's gonna go through it. He's gonna go through it, over it or around it. However it's there, he's gonna make it happen. I like about Frank that he's a humble, he's a humble kid. You wouldn't even know he was that good or that talented if you talk to him. You gotta see it. And then when you see it, you'll be like, oh my God, where did that come from? Um, my mom, she actually influenced me a lot, you know, because everybody don't have certain things, you know, but she made it always work. And then, you know, growing up, some of the older guys that grew up before me, you know, they looked out for me. They taught me a lot. Of course, some of the struggle, you know, Frank comes from, uh, you know, single parent home. His mom does an excellent job with him. Yeah, you got to understand, growing to be from a boy to a young man, you kind of see those. You may not say it but it, it plays out in your attitude and your approach when you have the opportunity to do something with sports. You know, it's hard to be us and to be making and be successful in the neighborhoods and the situations we come through, but he's, he's walking through it. Three stylers, three stylers, everybody ready? All right. All right. Everybody ready? All right. All right. Exercise begin. Yes. It can come from you actually playing. It can come from you showing the work ethic put into it. Hey, it can it can come from just saying one word to someone. If you can get others to play better than they thought they could play, then you develop into a leader. Football, you know, it means a lot to me. It's basically, the only thing I ever really done, you know, play football in my life. Frank was listening at the beginning and began to understand. Well, I got to have academics with this athletic thing, and if I do that, then I have a chance to be able to do something. He got the whole family, not only us, the whole neighborhood. Everybody is looking up to him and everybody wishing him nothing but the best. I look forward to him playing on Saturday in college. And after college, I look forward to him playing on Sundays. It's just, we're just waiting on time, that's it. But he has his head focused, so y'all remember the name, Frank Brown? He's coming. <laughs>